Ghana Ghana for we came in the new flavor Abba Be a superpower and you team a baba A rap for Ghana rap so for the strength is set up for Be a boy, be a boy In the first day me can the play We can go and check, it's a book We sit on your look up And my man up in your gunya hand You have a rapture, you have a bunch of quack I come here with less overall My strategy to set my look up First round, me have a down, James Brown I feel it good, la 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 Every way champion, me fear town Be defending me crown, yeah Oh, he came in with a lot of humility too and is turning the whole building upside down. We've got a brothel in the studio. I salute, sir. Marching. Now, what to sing? <laughs> I know I caught you off guard, right? Yeah, yes. <laughs> I know I caught you yeah, off yeah, guard, yeah, but it's yeah, all good. It's it's good to yeah, see you. Right. Oh, don't worry, I read and write tree. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you know we're yeah. we're on the same page. We're yeah, on the same page. Yeah, I shouldn't be. I shouldn't be. <laughs> I mean, I'm pushing, 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 pushing. Oh no no no, not at all, <laughs> not at all. It's good to see you though. Good I hear see you, I hear my right. friends on Hits FM grabbed you, even though you were here on time. Yeah. So we do apologize to our listeners yes, because you were the one that yes, showed up on time and they are the ones that need I'm, a whipping, I'm right? Sorry for whatever happened. Yeah, sure, sure. But it's all good. It's good to have you here. Which yeah. part of the country are you from, Arafo? Um, which part? Okay, you can which spread part? your wings. I mean, okay. hey, you are Ghanaian. First. Yes. I mean, usually I. that's how I go. Right. I hardly tell people where I because I, I believe we are all one people. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter mm -hmm. where you come from. True. Yes, but uh, from the eastern part of the country, I'm a Kwaoo. Yes, I'm, I would say 70-30. 70-30. Yeah, 30 percent What it is, you see, we are maternal. Right. My mom is from Obo Kwaoo, and my dad is from Ashanti Mampo. So okay. See. Yeah, but we're still one people yeah, anyway, so yeah. at the end of the day... I, I lean towards my mother's side right. more. Right, yeah. right. So I am a Kwawu. Yeah, Kwawu man. Yeah. Okay, that's all right. We won't take that away from you. And how come you chose Obrafo as a stage name? Well, uh, the name Obrafo is deep. Mm -hmm. um, Obrafo comes from the palace. Right. Um, as we know, traditionally, they are the sole guardian of the throne and they do administer justice mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. So um, when I was coming into the rap scene, mm -hmm. uh, with the perception that um, the hip life was an empty noise, I needed a name, or I needed to come and bring sanity into the game. And it will take the caliber of the executioners of the palace to do that <laughs> job. So, so I you had to come in as the executioner? Name. Yes, the executioner. I don't kill. No. I execute positive levels. So that's oh, well, we've known you not yeah. to have killed anybody yes, in the past year since you've been in the business. See? Into the have you, do you think that you have accomplished your task as well, to being you know, the one to bring sanity? Well, the only thing is the difference mm -hmm. is that people have choices. True. So uh, your words cannot be binding to people. I mean, everybody has a choice. But then, what it is, I think I am satisfied 
with what I've done mm -hmm. so far with uh, my conviction that I want to remain a decent lyricist. And still be your brafo. Yes. <laughs> so I am still towing the line. And I think I, I've lived by my name. Right. So, okay, right. It gives me fulfillment. And still still on the name issue, a lot of people know you by Obrafo, but before yeah. you got the name Obrafo, yes. what name did you write on all your um, well, important um, documents? I was born on a Tuesday, mm -hmm. so automatically I qualified for the name mm -hmm. Kwabina. Kwabina. Yes. And my mom and my dad named me after my grandfather who was a, a prominent lawyer in this country. But not an Obrafo. <laughs> no, by name, Lawyer Ochredako. And so I am Ochredako. Right. And they gave me an English name and a Christian name. And that one we've never heard of. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Oh, but people do know. Yeah, I mean, maybe those mm. I went to school My with you or English something. My English name is Elliot. Oh, a beautiful one too, yes, Mr. Elliot. Elliot. <laughs> my Christian name is Michael. Elliot so, Michael. Yes, I am Elliot, Elliot Michael Kod. Yes. Exactly. Okay. Okay. Now, very, very soon, if you hear somebody Michael. scream Elliot to you in the street, just oh, yeah, let me. Respond. Okay. I do respond. <laughs> Elliot <laughs> Michael Kwabna Ochre Dako. Well, it's it's at least it's good to know. It's a beautiful name, yes. and you know, I guess the Obrafo has just overshadowed yes. everything. Yes. So, um, we have four minutes before we get to eleven. That's okay. We'd also like to get to know you better, where mm -hmm. you grew up, and okay. um, uh -huh. um, your education. Do you have any siblings? Yes. Um, we are seven in number. And you are number. Uh, one is late. I'm the last one. Oh, we last baby. Two boys mm -hmm. and five girls. Yes. Wow. And where did you grow up? So, uh, from a very large family and a Christian background as well. Mm -hmm. Yes, um, I was born in Kwau. Did you go to school there? Yes, I started school there. And then I came to Accra at a younger age, mm -hmm. at four. Okay. So um, I've lived in Taifa. I went to New Star Preparatory. Mm -hmm. From there, I graduated to Abitifin Presby Secondary School. I had a little stint at uh, St. Peter's Secondary School for my set form, mm -hmm. but uh, something happened and I, I didn't last there. And that situation took me out of school. And I don't know, I mean, uh, I don't know. Uh, that situation might have contributed in me being in years um, <laughs> would you would you like to? Like, I think people know my story. Yeah, you my you story. probably want to summarize. <laughs> you probably want to summarize it, even if you don't want to go into that yeah, much detail. Um, I lost my mom, mm -hmm. who was the bad one, and it was my everything. I lost her at the time I had just entered the set form. Mm -hmm. So um, that is why. Uh, it actually affected me. I mean, for me, it was the first time I was seeing death that close. Mm -hmm. And it, it was it impacted on me negatively. Right. And that took me out of school. There was no way I was going to go back, back there. By then, I think um, it took about four months to get her buried. And wow. I, I was home from that point, and it was difficult because uh, my peers had already uh, gone ahead. Yeah. Of course, school doesn't wait yeah. for anybody. Yeah. But did it? Did 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 you did you have feel the urge to come back after all of this? I, no. 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 
No, I mean, it will be difficult to understand. It but is difficult to yeah, understand, but of course, I mean, nobody, but, uh, nobody can bear you a grudge. That's yes, the way you I felt. I found solace in God. Right. And uh, that is what has kept me up to today. Right. Well, there's more to that story, but that will be after our news at 11. Do stay with us, folks. Look. Everybody's feeling a raffle. <laughs> He's feeling his own music. You should see his dance moves in the yeah. studio. So before the break, we were talking about, you know, mm -hmm. you truncating your education yeah. because of the fact that you didn't, yeah, yeah you weren't emotionally strong when yeah. your mom passed on. Yeah. And um, what happened after that? You were home for four months. Your mom was buried. Yes. And I then think. what did you, what, 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 what did you start feeling? At well, that time. I, I, I think around that time, uh, Reggie, I call him the revolutionist, mm -hmm. had brought the revolution and I caught up with me. And so, yes, uh, well, uh, there was a backup plan mm -hmm. to ferry me outside the country. Mm -hmm. so Whose that, plan was that? It was mine. Sister, okay. my other sister. So yes, I think that is the more reason why I, the concentration on uh, going back uh, to school yeah, just left you. Yeah, yeah. So I was waiting, but uh, I never. Um, and through that, like the the wind of the revolution caught up with me. I was caught in the wind and I started admiring, I started um, fancying the idea mm -hmm. to rap. Uh, actually, this is how it started. Um, in the community where I was living, there was this young man called Quincy. Mm -hmm. And he bears the same local name as Reggie. He's Yawasante. Yeah, something. And that guy could rap. And uh, he was at that time, I, yes, I think he believed that he was even better than Reggie. Oh, wow. Yes. I, I don't know where that confidence that <laughs> People have it, you know. People have it. <laughs> confidence <laughs> it came from. But then, um, I happened to be his friend. What he was doing, I wanted to do it. Because um, as of that time, imagine the situation I was in wasn't really good. Um, it was difficult to come by mm -hmm. money. Yes, food, you could go home and eat. But then I grew an Afro. Mm -hmm. and. At a point in time, it was difficult for me to comb my afro. Mm -hmm. And so when I take a shower, I will not comb it. And then it started locking. And knowing my house, it will be difficult to keep that hair in that house. So I left home to stay with my friend. Aha, uh -huh. this same Quincy. No. Yeah, not I, that guy. A different, yeah. <laughs> okay. And that was when that idea, I nurtured the idea of... Uh, Pursuing music. Yes. Because um, as of that time, Quincy could have access to every party that happens to the, in the community. Because mm -hmm. he could rap. He goes and take a mic and he will rap. And he would have access to all the freebies. <laughs> Including yeah. the girls. That's uh, food. I mean, <laughs> basically, that was what we were thinking of. Food. Yeah, food, after, more like it, because you weren't so staying at was home. Quite difficult. Yeah. So, yeah. And I, I thought of it. I was like, no, why not? Probably if this guy could teach me how to rap, mm -hmm. it would be easy for me to also have access you to a lot of saying? things, yeah. yeah. And so I went to him, okay. told him I, I'm a fan first, but I want him to teach me to how rap. to rap. And it was going to come 
at a price. Of course. And to be honest with you, yes, I was being reimbursed every week or every month mm -hmm. uh, from my sister outside. Right. And it was every month I would get one city, 50 pesos. Mm -hmm. And this young man, as at that time, wanted, wanted all that money. No, he wanted to take every two weeks. Two, yes. How can we give what we haven't? Earned? Every two is fifty pesos. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah, so. So at the end month, of the month, yes, it's like I a, would be yeah, left with fifty. Fifty pesos because he pesos takes one CD. At that time, yeah. and it was difficult. For of course, me. there was no way I was gonna survive on that peanut. So I started writing my own. In every misfortune, you'll yes. find a blessing. That's that's it. It said, <laughs> nobody knows. Sometimes the road you take to avoid your destiny. That's <laughs> you will find your destiny. destiny. Yeah. So, this guy didn't know I was writing. I remember the first song I, I wrote. Mm -hmm. It was about condoms. Ooh, I see. Yes. Why condoms? Because by then... It was a big thing. A yeah, we were talking thing. about yeah. it a lot. So then I wanted people to protect themselves. Yeah, that must so have been. I, I remember the curse. mid eighties, right? Yes, but the lyrics, I, I, I no. I you guess. can't remember the lyrics. No, but I, the chorus. Okay. Okay. Mushu bruni roba. Okay. Mushu bruni roba. So yeah, um, from there mm -hmm. I think I wrote. Um, uh, some of the great pieces that uh, today <laughs> everybody <it's laughs> um, loves so much. I, I wrote Mama, mm -hmm. I wrote Kwame Nkrumah yeah. at that time. Yeah, we and play Kwame Nkrumah, but we play yes, Mama in a little bit. So, this guy didn't know. Mm -hmm. uh, there was a party, and we met mm -hmm. at that party. And my friends were urging me on to go, go and, rap. and take, take the mic. Cause the guy had done everything. Mm -hmm. and <laughs> you, you do all, so I, to say. I was scared. But my friends urged me on. And I went to take the mic. And what happened That's history now. It, it, it was mind-blowing. I mean, everybody fell in love with me. It was your night. And I was crowned the king at that party. So that was it. It started... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Did it spark rivalry between yeah. yourself oh, and Quincy? No, Quincy's? he he drew me closer. Mm -hmm. He realized that now I could rap. Mm -hmm. So we came together, and with a cousin of his, we formed a group, IQE. IQE. Uh, uh, yes. Okay. Impulse, Quincy, and Execution. Okay. So IQE. Okay. But um, it didn't take us anywhere because mm -hmm. um, the mom was a. Uh, a reverend minister, ah. uh, and so uh, we were having challenges. And around that time, a friend of mine introduced me to Hammer. Mm -hmm. Before I would see Hammer, I had formed my own group. Mm -hmm. What was the um, name of your group? I met one of my <laughs> peers here in the studio at the Hits. Um, Carlos mm -hmm. or Ashes as they call him yes he was a member of my group Abraham Pong and there was an, another guy mm -hmm. but uh, when I took the group to meet Hammer Hammer singled me out and he told me bluntly in the face that uh, you are a stronger force yeah, compared to the two. You don't have to waste your time. Right. <laughs> so that's how come the Obrafo. It's That's how you got your relationship with Hammer with started. Hammer two, yeah. yeah. And to be honest with you, um, Hammer had not played any beat. God being so good, I, 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 I always say that I'm fortunate in situations. I mean, like, I don't know. I think the hand of God had been 
upon my life from childhood to date. He always watches over yes, his over own, me. you know. Oh, for me, it's special. I, I always tell people, to me, I think God loves me more than any other person. <laughs> because of what I've been through and how far he's brought me. I met Hama. There was this friend that was supporting financially because um, I'd been given the thumbs up by um, this, this, this guy at Radio God that I met. Uh, B.B. Manson? No. no? He said, yo, the first time that I'm hearing you, I think you have what it takes to do help life. Mm -hmm. And then Hammer was the last one that broke the camel's back. I met Hammer the first day. He was driving on a table, mm -hmm. and he asked me to rap. rap. And so I was doing my thing. I mean, midway through my verse, he asked me to stop and made a bold statement that has <laughs> affected me <laughs> throughout. Um, he said, stop. I think you are the guy that will give Reggie Rockstone a run for his money. And Hama doesn't know what that statement did to me. But I'm, to be honest with you, there was that statement that made me. And so I had all the confidence to go out for people to hear me. Because I was a, a little shy. You I still, mean, you still come that, across as yeah, a little shy. That has made me, yeah. But so, so what changed that after that encounter? Did you go back to the studio to record with Yes, that, that was when he, he had not done anything. Mm -hmm. But he, he, for some reason, reason, I had believed in him. In him. And he believed in yes. you. So you had a no, common I mean, ground yes, to start. Yes. I mean, Virgin Beats, I mean, he went to the studio to play it all. And... My flow too was original. Right. So and you just flowed together. Meets meeting virgin raps. Wow. And the outcome was a pie mocha. And I mean for me that's the say I believe in that saying. Yeah, I so think I had today. an interview with Hammer over yeah. the weekend. If it wasn't this one, then it'll probably be the weekend before last. And he said exactly yeah. that. He said yeah. my meeting with a Brafo was what I, made I, I think that was was It was divine. divine. Yes. yes. I it think was God divine. had prepared him mm -hmm. for me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he had prepared me for him. Right. So uh what At some point, out, you had yeah. to meet, and yes, something had to blow yeah, out of it. Um, let me just backtrack a little bit. Was that afro you started growing when you were hanging with Quincy, the same um, um, dreadlocks you have now? Yes. That is what has... <laughs> Evolved into, or metamorphosed into, into your dress. What, what I have. Oh, okay, it's just point of interest. Mm. But anyway, <laughs> since we've been talking about Mama and yeah. you were, you know, playing the beat back in your head mm. and we're getting close to Mother's Day, I thought that we'll probably play Mama just for a quick break. Uh, for me, uh -huh. you see, that song at the time of composition, mm -hmm. when I was composing that song, at the back of my mind, I was known a song as a tribute to yeah, my mother, because my mom had passed. But I did not leave anything in there to show what I was going through. Yeah. I realized that it would not only serve as a tribute, mm -hmm. but it would go a long way to appreciate the role our um, mothers play. I mean, for me, I have said this time and again that the love of God, the reflection of the love of God mm -hmm. is seen in mothers. Right. 
Right. Right. You, that, that's, that's profound, but that's exactly what it is. You know, that's exactly what it is. Or bad time in India, and bad video. Mama, what did you mean for you? Or brave for my sit down here. Mommy, okay. I wore ya yet, and so one papa. What bad idea, and I mean, who be that? Me dream of who I mean, who dear men can unpack, will be unto me, yet, dear, why your mammy will me, I say, me more frassy, wooden to brassy, a home brassy, and yammy haunty, I say, daddy be seen, intimate the metacher, my bepper, my casmeda was. And she ran come with din, yammy mamma, who din, semi, nammy what, mammy, and I met on a bedding, what a timu when yammy so cancel, or that way in the yachin minute day, a promise to a brain in army tea down so, oh, young copon. Shadian Pong, or now ball, so near as I seen in young Conton, and now bore me a brain pong. You miss a one such a me, mammy, no moon print print, my woman can have a so any attenting, and yard drink drink. What's I eat? No, 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 Oh, Mama, a brave for my sister Daniel. Hello, bad time in him the end of bad video. Mama, a brave for me say my sister Daniel. Mama, I come a panty to your part or the panty to your part. You never feel my mama. I am part my man can. Me want to drink and I'm into a coke test to cry. Yeah, I wanna end can can me yari. Unto me need the ubuada or the M C C. I want to pray. Yeah, me come up here. I'm going to sit down. Me want to tell me only a little. But I don't want to feel dear. But I'm not brand here. My man did Jamie so to so this year. We in our wine a beer. My man can't a beer. Me to me you born here. I feel the wire. I was so me cry when to what me honey so. I feel me quite a bone in some one for me more before. Mamma, me no fusu, no crania me any man who saw what bram and hope papa, or your bar him, I mean to mean found to chacha. Ah, I said, Don't call her, mammy. Mammy, what said then? Bad time in India, but did you? Mama, what did you mean?